Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am doing a little styling video that's a little bit different to my usual ways to wear. Today we are doing 10 outfits to wear to a date post lockdown. Now obviously life is going back to normal a little bit now. You can finally go on those dates that you've been waiting for, for the whole of lockdown. If you've been talking to someone over lockdown, maybe you've got a new love interest, maybe you're just starting to chat to someone, maybe you just wanna go on a date with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, and or husband or wife, whatever, um, and you just wanna feel good. So I've put together some outfits that you can wear on a date, these are more like day outfits I would say, some of them you can take into the evening. I haven't really gone for the whole super dressed up look because I'm not really a dressed up kind of person. Um, I have a very limited amount of dressed up outfits. So we're going casual, we're going for something that's more daytime date. Now if you're coming out of lockdown and you're like, oh my god I'm meeting this person that I'm, I fancy so much. What am I gonna wear? I wanna feel good, but I don't know what to wear because I haven't worn normal clothes in like the longest time. None of us have. I am even struggling. Like when I was putting these out together, I was like, hmm, what do you actually wear on a date? I haven't been on a date, I guess, in a long time. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, I don't even know. Like if I, I had to like put myself into the, the mindset of right, right, if I was going on a date with someone I really fancied, what would I wear? I don't know if these are quite exactly what I'd wear because I don't know what I would wear on a date if I was meeting someone new for the first time because I don't know. <laughs> but I did put together 10 outfits that I think you guys really, really like and I'm really chuffed with them when I put them together. I was like, oh, these are nice outfits. You may even see these on my Instagram because when I do these videos, I always put outfits together and I'm like, this is an Instagram worthy outfit. Instagram needs to see this. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you should. My Instagram name is Rad here, and I also always link it in my description box, so if you ever want to check it out, it's always there. Anyway, let's get on with the video, and let's talk through these gorgeous date outfits. Outfit number one is definitely what I would call like cute meets grungy. I love a cute meets grungy kind of outfit. You may know this if you follow me on Instagram. Um, I just think, I just love it. I think it's such a vibe. It's definitely like a cool girl kind of vibe. Um, I'm not saying I'm a cool girl, but I just love this look. Um, very Pinterest, that kind of thing. Um, this dress is so cute. I picked it up from Zara recently in my Zara and H&M haul. I'll link it up above and down below. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. I think it's really cute. It's very sweet. It's very much a kind of um, holiday, evening kind of dress, but I love it and you could wear it throughout the day as well, I don't think it's just an evening dress. Um, but I've teamed boots with it just because I wanted to kind of edge it up a little bit. Sometimes when you're going out and you're on a date, you want to feel kind of comfortable and yourself, but also really, really cute and like nice. And I think this is a really good combination of the two. Obviously if you're not a chunky boots kind of girl, then scrap that and go for something else. But I just think this is quite sweet, it's quite a nice like, I'm here, I'm ready, I'm looking cool kind of outfit. This is probably something you would wear maybe if you're going for like, I don't know, a walk maybe? I don't even know what you do on dates anymore. But if you're going for something where you might be walking around a lot, this is a good outfit to go for. Summer cute outfit, you know? I love this. <laughs> I'll probably say that about everything, but I do love this outfit. Next up, we have an outfit that I think you've probably seen everyone on TikTok wear. Um, I love these like 90s style outfits. I've mentioned this before. I think they're really, really cool. And they're very kind of on trend at the moment. And I know that a lot of girls want to create a look like this. So I wanted to bring one to you. Very easy to create. I just got a simple black kind of, it's slightly longer than a crop top but has that kind of style. Um, racer style, which is a really classic style to have in your wardrobe anyway. Um, I've had this one for a year or so now, so, you know, it's had its wear. Um, and I've teamed it with a really cute little, um, what would you call this, like A-line skirt? Mini skirt, it's very cute. It's very short, so it's not for everyone, but I love this, it's from Motel Rocks. Motel Rocks do the best little skirts I've ever seen. They're so cute. Um, and I just think, like, you can't go wrong with a cute little skirt on a date, especially if you wanna show off your legs, if you really like your legs. It's good to show off your legs, you know? 
um, and I love this one. I just think it's really cute. And then I've got a little bag, just because if you're going for that 90s vibe, you've got to add the bag too, and then a pair of chunky trainers. Um, obviously these are expensive chunky trainers, so you don't necessarily have to go for those. But I think altogether, like a really cute, like simple outfit that has that kind of sexy vibe is really nice and really easy to wear on a date. If you want to wear something that's like, I want to feel sexy, but I don't really want to be wearing like a bodycon dress. This is the outfit to go for. It's very like, I'm cute, but also I'm sexy, you know? And I like that, I'm so here for that. So yeah, I really, really like this outfit. Next is another kind of Pinteresty kind of outfit. I find my style is very quickly drifting into this Pinterest style. I don't know why, I just, I just love it. Um, this top, you would have seen before. I think I featured it in a few videos. Very cute, very girly, very summery. Um, and I think it's one of those pieces that if you feel confident in a top like this, then you should 100% wear one because, oh my God, they are so pretty. Just so like girly and cute. I've teamed it with a little satin skirt. You can't beat a satin skirt. Again, one of those classic pieces that if you have one, then you'll probably get wear out of it for years to come. And this one I've had for a few years. I love it, it's really, really cute. Um, you can't really go wrong with a cute satin skirt. And then I've teamed a pair of trainers with it. So this is like a very kind of cute, but really like feminine, girly outfit, but with a pair of trainers. Because let's face it, if you're going on a date and you're walking around a lot, you might want a pair of trainers. But if you're going for more of a kind of cute, classy vibe, you could switch out the trainers and go for like a heel or like a heeled sandal or something. Um, this is definitely one of those interchangeable outfits. So depending on what you're doing, you could easily wear this outfit, which I love, because, or if you're going like, doing something in the day and then you need to change your shoes for like, dinner, perfect outfit for that. Um, but yeah, I love this one. And it's very kind of easy wearing as well, like not a hard wearing outfit. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Next outfit is more of a, I wanna say like an evening, kind of outfit so if you're maybe going for like a drinks in the evening but it's still daylight this is a really good outfit to go for i'm just wearing a pair of um loose fitting jeans who doesn't have a pair of loose fitting jeans i do that's for sure and i just teamed it with a little satin cami satin cami is again a really classic piece to have in your wardrobe and can look like a kind of perfect evening piece but can also work really really well for a day-to-day -day look which i love I've teamed this look with a pair of little sandals to give like more of an evening look. Again, with the bag, which is more of a clutch, kind of gives it more of that evening vibe. But like I said, if you wanted to switch this up, you could switch out the heels for some trainers and go for more of a kind of um, dressed up, dressed down day look if you wanted to. I really like this look. I think if I was to go for a date in the evening, I'd probably wear something like this. Something that like I feel comfortable in because I love my jeans, but also feel kind of dressed up, feel like nice, you know? And I think when it comes to a date outfit, you want to have the comfort, comfort side, but you also want to have that really like sexy dressed up, feeling good side. And I think this is, again, one of those outfits that's like perfect combination because you've got the shoulders out, it's all nice, oh yeah, but you're covered, you've got your jeans on, you can feel that comfort, it's all good, so. Yeah. This next outfit, oh my god, I'm so excited to share with you because I just love it. Um, I'm wearing another little satin skirt, but this time it's a short satin skirt. When I found this on ASOS, I was like, holy, I need you in my life. And I'm very happy to have it in my life. Um, I've teamed it with a white tee. I love a white tee. I think a satin skirt and a white tee is always a good outfit to go for. Very classic, very simple, but also... Um, one you could dress up and down, which again, great outfit for a date. I've thrown on a little leather jacket. I say little, it's not little, it's quite oversized. Um, to give more of a kind of casual, but put together vibe. Um, it just adds something, it adds a bit of edge and I love that. Um, and then I've teamed my little Converse with it because it wouldn't be a video if I didn't feature my Converse at some point. Um, so yeah, I love this look. It's a very kind of, simple day outfit but you could also wear this during the day if you're going shopping whatever you were doing this is a great outfit to wear i mean this one is definitely going to be on my instagram soon because i'm obsessed with it but um yeah i think with date outfits you just have to make sure that you feel good but also you feel cool and you feel good and you're like oh yeah he's gonna fancy me or she's gonna fancy me 
Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've said feel good in every outfit, but that's the whole point of a date. You want to feel good, right? This next outfit is not going to be for everyone. But if you're a 90s girl, you like your 90s style, you're into your TikTok style, you're into your Pinterest, this is the outfit for you. I'm wearing a very cute little sweatshirt, which I got from a brand on Instagram. It's called Yes Styles. I will link it below. Um, I love this. It's so cute and so Instagram, which is just me in a jumper, really. Um, I love it. It's so good. And I've teamed it with a tennis skirt. Now, I'm not the biggest tennis skirt fan i know i actually physically have one but i find it very hard to style with my own style i'm very casual so this was like when i came up with this outfit i was like oh my gosh yes this is such a good one um and this is very very cute you could wear this if you're going to play tennis with your date you could wear this if you were going for like a very kind of cute casual walk in the park maybe um or maybe you're going for drinks in the park cute one to wear i think tennis skirt you can kind of get away with whatever you're doing like let's face it as long as you style it in the right way no one really cares but i've also teamed it with a pair of trainers just to give it that sporty look um you could wear this wherever you were going maybe not to a dinner but i think it's quite sweet and i think when you're when you're thinking of date outfits now, especially at the moment, none of us are really kind of... If you're going for a date, you're going to try and do it somewhere where it's a little bit like there's not loads of people because we're trying to stay away from everyone. Um, but like this is a really good outfit if you're going to the park and you're having a cute little picnic maybe or you're just having a little date in the park. This is a really, really cute outfit and I love it. This next outfit is 100% for you girly girls. You will love this outfit. I love this outfit. My style changes all the time <laughs> one minute i feel super girly then i'm grungy and then i'm 90s aesthetic <laughs> but this outfit is so cute this dress is adorable so like, we all have that cute little dress that we just love and when you put it on you're like mm, 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 i feel fab this is one of those outfits i love it um and i've teamed it with a pair of little heels because this is more of a dressy girly outfit so you're gonna put your heels on maybe you're going for a really lovely lunch in the sun with your date and you want to feel like you're on holiday like yeah you know this is one of those outfits i've also added a little hat because if it's hot and sunny you need a little hat this is definitely a super girly outfit and not everyone's gonna love this one but i do think it's very sweet and i know there's a girl out there who would find this outfit literally perfect for them and they'd be like that is what i'm wearing on my date so i had to include one we all have different styles we all we all need to we need to include everyone in this as much as i possibly can <laughs> next up is another kind of casual outfit i'm wearing this really 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 cute little tie front top um these tops are just great because they look great on everyone and they're just such a kind of easy piece to wear and they look super stylish and they're great for hot weather so I mean, perfect. I've teamed this with a pair of denim shorts to give that really, really classic, um, kind of like casual but cute look. Um, denim shorts, we all have them. They're great for hot weather. And if you're going on a date during a warm day, good outfit to go for. These are slightly longer, so if you're a little bit conscious of the top of your legs, these are a great short to go for. I've teamed them with a pair of trainers just to add that casual look. If you're someone who wanted to go for a sandal to give it more of a feminine touch, you could, or if you wanted to wear a pair of boots, you could, whatever you fancy. I've gone for trainers because I'm such a trainer girl, but yeah, love that. And then I've just added a patterned, printed even, bag, just to add a bit of texture to the look because it's very kind of simple. There's not that much to the outfit, but just adding a printed bag or some sort of texture or print just adds something a bit more exciting to a simple outfit, so yeah <laughs> this next outfit is definitely one for those slightly cooler days um i'm wearing a knitted jumper i know you're probably thinking why um but i love wearing a knitted jumper with a cute skirt or knitted jumper over a dress i think that's a really cute look and we all have knitted jumpers like i like to get the most out of my wardrobe i like to wear my knitted jumpers all year round and this one i bought from zara a while back i will try and find something similar and link it below for you guys um but yeah i love this and the skirt is so freaking cute who doesn't love a floral 
cute little skirt, I don't know, it's just so cute. Um, and I'm wearing a pair of pink Converse this time. I haven't worn my pink Converse in a while, so I thought I'd bring them back to you guys. I love this look, it's very cute, it's very like sweet, um, it's a casual but cute look, and I mean, all of my outfits are casual but cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love it. I think it's a really easy outfit if you're wanting to wear a really cute outfit but you might get cold, good good look to go for. Something I will say is it's good to have an outfit like this that maybe you're wearing a cute little crop top underneath where you can wear your jumper to the outfit. If you feel confident enough to take it off, you can take it off or if you don't, you leave it on. You could easily switch out this jumper for like a jacket so that you could easily take it off without having to take it over your head or whatever. Um, but yeah, really good outfit to kind of feel comfortable and then if you feel comfortable enough to take it off then you can take it off if not you can just vibe in your knitted jumper obviously it's got to be the right kind of weather because if it's a hot day you're not going to be wearing a knitted jumper let's face it but it's a very cute outfit and i do love it and i mean you can't go wrong with an oversized jumper and a little skirt you could wear a sweat if you wanted to switch out the heat and go with something a bit more light you could wear a lightweight sweat maybe like the white one i showed you earlier whatever takes you fancy. We're finishing off the outfits with a more dressy evening look. This is probably the only super evening look that I have here. Um, this one is what I would probably wear. If I was going on a really nice date and I didn't want to spend any money on an outfit, but I wanted to feel good, this is what I would wear. So I'm wearing this um, like puff shoulder, what do you call it? Padded shoulder t-shirt. Everyone has these. And when I got this, I was like, oh, am I going to love it? Put it on and I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. I was like, yes. Um, it does something that just makes you look fab. And I love this top. I've teamed it with a pair of satin shorts. These are from Zara. I love these. Satin shorts, again, you can't really go wrong with satin. I think whether it's a satin skirt or a pair of satin shorts or a pair of satin trousers, you can't really go wrong. They're such a classic piece to have in your wardrobe. And they are kind of something that comes back around every year, whether it's in summer or winter, they're definitely like a trendy piece. Um, and I love this look. I just think it's very sweet, but like fierce. It's like a sassy, sassy date outfit, you know? You've got the legs out, you've got the arms out, but you haven't got any chest out. I'm not someone who naturally gets a lot of chest out because I don't really have much there to show. But if you're someone who wants to get your legs out, this is the perfect outfit. If you want to get your boobs out, you could maybe go for a pair of jeans or if you want to get boobs and legs out, do that. Whatever floats your boat. Um, so yeah, I really like this outfit. And maybe if I go on a date with my boyfriend, I'll wear this outfit. The likelihood of that is very slim because I like to go casual. But this is a really good outfit. You could also wear this to drinks with the girls if you wanted to wear something a bit nicer. Um, the possibilities are endless, but it's a very sweet, sweet, cute, sassy outfit, especially if you want to show your legs. It's like a leggy outfit. So those are all of the outfits that I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this. Do let me know what your favourite outfit was and if you're going to go on a date and you're going to take inspiration from these outfits, I would love to know. Um, like I said at the start, I haven't been on a date in a while, so I don't actually know if these are date appropriate outfits or if you guys would wear these to a date, but do let me know if you do. All the links to all of the outfits, everything that I've worn will be linked below as of what I'm wearing today. I always link everything below for you guys so you can go and shop it whenever. I will try and find similarities of things if I can't find the exact item, but as always, will be linked below. So for now, I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you all in my 